Hello everyone, Sue Shrimp Breeders here. I'm going to be going over how I set up my shrimp tanks. This is going to be for my Caradina shrimp and this is going to be exactly how I set up all of my tanks. I'm going to be using a 30 gallon for this build. I do like the larger tanks over the smaller ones only because I can keep them a little more stable when I do my water changes. I find that the parameters don't fluctuate as much in the larger tanks. I am going to be using an active substrate for this, as an active substrate will lower my pH to 6 to 6.2 and it will strip the KH out of the water, both which my Caradina shrimp really enjoy. And if you are setting up a Neo Caradina tank, you will want any, an inert substrate, meaning that it does not do anything to the water, it will not change your water parameters at all. But for this I'm using ADA Amazonia. This is the substrate that I've chosen throughout my entire shrimp room for my Caradina shrimp, and I've had really, really good success with it. This substrate takes about two months to cycle, and during that time it will release a lot of ammonia, anywhere between 6 to 8 ppms. I would not advise to add any livestock during this time, even though throughout this video you will notice ram's horn snails. They came in on my plants when I transferred them over, and those guys just live through anything. With this soil lowering the pH, it grows plants, at least the ones that I put in here, really well. My Rotala has an easy time with its roots growing through this soil. I want to continue to spread the soil around until I get about two to two and a half inches in the back and maybe an inch to an inch and a half in the front. This will ensure that my Rotala that I'm going to be planting in the back is going to have a lot of space for its roots and I probably won't be having a lot of heavy rooted plants towards the front so I can leave that just a little bit more shallow. One bag of ADA wasn't quite enough to get the depth that I wanted for soil so I'm going to have to add another half a bag but I am setting up a tank on the other side of the room about the same size as this so I do have another bag and a half to put in that tank also. Now that I have the depth that I want, it's time to fill it up with water and add just a few more things. I'm using tap water to fill this tank up. I have used my shrimp salts mixed with RO water in the past and I didn't really notice a difference between the two and the only thing that this does is it saves me a little bit of money from adding shrimp salts. My tap water comes out at anywhere between a 60 and 80 TDS depending on the time of year. I like to fill my tanks up slowly at first because this substrate can get very, very messy if you stir it up. I will increase the water flow later on, but at first it's better to go with a trickle. I want to keep my TDS between 100 to 120 during the cycle. This is sitting at about a 60, so I am going to have to add a little bit of shrimp salts to this to bring it up to my desired level. I do add prime to my water at this point to take out all of the chlorine. I didn't record myself doing it, but be sure to take out the chlorine if you're using tap water. This is a homemade sponge filter. 
You can use any sponge filter you want. This is just the one that I had lying around. I did have this filter in another tank just to put a little bit of beneficial bacteria inside the filter before I put it in this one. The cloud coming out now is that beneficial bacteria. You do not have to do this. I've done it both ways with and without this and it turns out that this just speeds up the process just a little bit. This is one of my favorite parts of the setup and that is putting the plants in. The plant that I'm putting in right now is Rotala indica. It's one of my favorite plants. It grows really, really nicely in all my tanks and I like it a lot when cycling the ADA. This is one of the only stem plants that I like in my shrimp tanks. I have tried a few others. A lot of them grow either too fast or they overcrowd the tank. This one seems to be just right for my shrimp tanks. I'm only going to be adding a couple of plants during the beginning of the cycle. The ammonia that this substrate releases is quite high. Like I said before, it was 6 to 8 ppms. Some of the more sensitive plants can't handle that kind of ammonia. Plants like my mosses and subwassertang, I will add some of those later, but for now, I tried to put them in in the past and with the ammonia being so high, I noticed that they started to melt, so I had to remove them. The other plant I'm adding here is water lettuce. This is my favorite floating plant as it has really long roots, a lot of surface area for the shrimp to graze on, and it is absolutely wonderful for sucking up nitrates and ammonia. That's it, and there's nothing more to do besides wait. I'm reading a pH of 7. Nitrates are, looks like about a 20. Ammonia is between a 3 and a 4. Now the pH is a little bit high just because it is my tap water. I just refilled the tank. It will drop back down, but we still have 30 more days to wait. So let's check and see what the tank looks like in 30 days. The water lettuce is now covering the top of the tank. Unfortunately, it's blocking all the light from hitting any of the other plants that I'm putting in below it, so I've got to get some of this out of here, but good news is, is I use it all for shrimp food. I did mention earlier that there were some snails and snail eggs on my plants when I put them in this tank and they have survived the entire cycle. They do this just about every time that I've cycled my tank. You might not have snails in your tank during the cycle. It might alter how your results as far as nitrates and readings go, but this is just how I do it. This will be my final water change for this cycle. This is my second one. I'm gonna do about a 50% water change again, and we're gonna see what the readings are, and hopefully I can add some shrimp. I 
I do have to add a little bit of prime to the tank because I'm using tap water and that's just to take the chlorine out. tank's all filled up now. I have to do some readings and hopefully I can add some shrimp in a week. I'm really, really hoping that my readings are good. My readings turned out pretty well. I do have to wait about a week for my nitrates to come down. I gotta let the plants grow and suck up those nitrates a little bit. And it looks like it's reading at about ammonia is zero. Nitrates are 10-ish and I have a pH reading of between a 6.6 .6 and a 6.8. And I'm gonna have to wait for the water parameters to adjust a little bit. And I should be able to add shrimp in next week. And if you guys are looking forward to that video, then be sure to check it out next week.